Hi everyone. I'm excited to share the new updates for my script spec and brush shredder. I'm doing one video for several products, because in these updates I tried to improve workflow and interaction between the scripts and brush shredder. I'll start with a grand improvement in both script spec, because there is now a separate script for managing script files and script settings. Before to change settings for any scripts, I had to navigate to Photoshop folder, find the script, edit it and save it, and after each update the settings would be overwritten, because the files also would be overwritten. And if I make a mistake in the file, like putting in a wrong character or something, the script would just stop working. Now there are setting scripts for both Taglitator and Scriptorator, and settings themselves are stored separately from script files. For the demonstration I put setting scripts on, uh, on my Bushrator panel, but uh, later I'll talk about the other way they can be called, because Bushrator isn't essential to call the settings. So let me show you how the setting script work on the example of Taglitator settings. There is a list of available scripts, a button to send the active script to Bushrutter, buttons to duplicate, rename and remove the script, settings window and the assigned shortcut. Before going forward, I'd like to talk about accessibility of the scripts folder, especially on Windows. On Windows, by default, you need administrative rights to edit scripts folder of Photoshop. So you may see this message that a scripts folder isn't accessible and some of the functions are disabled. One of the ways to give scripts the access to this folder is uh, to run Photoshop as administrator, giving the script the necessary access. So after restarting, I don't have this message anymore and all the functions are enabled. Or you can just give access to this folder to your Windows user. Cool, right. Okay. <laughs> That's it for this small intermission. Now just demonstrate how I would say uh, set settings. For example, for toggle zoom script. So no more text field, no more manually editing files. There is a simple checkbox for setting one of the options and there's a text field where I can put the same value mm, I'd like the script to work with. So after I hit save and use the hotkey I assigned to the script, the zoom and the pen of my document will change between current value and desired value. One of the new scripts in uh, Taglitator is uh, toggle visibility of layers with specific label color, red by default. And let's say I want to make a copy of the script that would toggle the layers with green labels. And this can be done in several seconds. I just go to toggle data settings, select the script I'd like to duplicate, change its name, and then change the setting. In this case, I choose green label instead of uh, red one. And also, for the demonstration purposes, I'd like the script to be on brush router. So I select send to brush router button, then I select the brush router panel I want it to be, um, and the uh, name on the panel. And uh, after this, I only need to reload uh, Brush Router, and here's my button. I just move it to the place I want it to be, and uh, maybe assign a different color to it, green. So now on this Brush Router shelf, I have one script that toggles red labels, re uh, layers with red labels, and another script, script that toggles layers with green labels. So yes, let's talk more about new scripts. Another addition to layer togglers is a toggle inactive layers script, which toggles visibility of layers that aren't selected at the moment, which in my opinion works better than default Photoshop toggle and selected layers function. My favorite addition in this update is a toggle brush blend mode script. For various reasons it was much more difficult to make than it sounds like. But anyway, now, now it's here, now it's done, and I use a shortcut to toggle between normal blend mode and clear blend mode of the brush, basically transforming it from a painting tool to eraser. And obviously, uh, normal and uh, clear aren't the only blend mode types you can set in the script. Uh, you can actually set any type of script you want. And uh, if I want to make a duplicate of the script that would change blending mode be between normal and uh, overlay, uh, I can do that. Using the same process I showed you before when I was making a duplicate of toggle layer by label script, I can do a version of the blend mode toggler that would change between normal and overlay blend mode of my brush. Another script is toggle brush dynamics. Basically it will switch between dynamics turned off and dynamics turned on with specific settings. And the last one is toggle brush angle control. It allows toggling between two specified ways of uh, controlling brush angle. In my case, I use toggle brush between last used and uh, pen tilt. This means that if my active angle control is off, after using the script, it will change to, uh, to pen tilt and then back to off. But if my active was a uh, direction, uh, using the script will toggle between pen tilt and direction. So what's new in script Scriptorator? 
it gets 10 new scripts and also script writer settings. One of the new scripts will modify foreground color and here in brush writer I have two copies of the script that uh, will change saturation of a foreground color by 10% if I click it and by 50% if I control click it while also maintaining the lightness of the color. So what do I mean exactly when I'm saying that it's going to modify color by 50%? If I'm going to open the settings for the script that adds 10% to saturation, it may look really scary, but actually it's quite simple. There are several fields for hue, saturation and brightness controls and also a um, separate field for a modified property. If I want my script, like in this example, only modify saturation, I change the operator for saturation to add and write 10. And for all other settings, I uh, change them to multiply by, by 1, which basically means that it won't do anything. And for modifier, I set it multiply by 2, which means if my col current color has a saturation of 30, if I'm going to control click the script, it's going to modify saturation to 60. There is also a brush rotation script that modifies brush rotation or sets it to a specific value. There is a similar script for changing brush opacity, which will change current value or set opacity to specific value. There is also a script to split layer to islands um, and switch between layer and mask, which are obviously more useful when assigned to a hotkey. There are also several scripts regarding using smart objects, convert selected layers to smart objects, reset smart objects, rasterize uh, all or selected smart objects, and unpack smart objects. To get more information about those, just check the manual. Okay, it's uh, virtual router time. So earlier I mentioned that there are several ways to launch the setting scripts. For example, you can find those in File Scripts menu and then just scroll, <coughs> scroll, 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 scroll until you find them. Or in new Photoshop, there is a search functionality that allows you to look for functions by the name. And uh, using an exclamation mark, you can find both setting scripts. But I was thinking, if I'm using Brush Writer anyway, and uh, if I know that I have the scripts pack installed, why can't I have an easy access to script settings directly from Brush Writer? The new version will detect if you have any of the scripts pack installed to get quick access to settings. But also it's possible to open the settings of the particular script directly from the edit button window using the new edit script settings button. These changes allow me to set up scripts very rapidly. If I want to add several scripts that would change hue of my color by some degrees, I simply launch settings from flyout menu, choose foreground color script, make a copy, edit settings, send it to brush router, make another copy, edit settings, send to brush router. And then after reloading the panel, I'll find my new two buttons and change the hue of my current color by 10 degrees if I click them or by 20 degrees if I control click them. And the whole process including the label took me two minutes. Another big change in this update is the way you can add tools on brush router just by clicking on them. In the previous update, there's an option to add tools from history panel favorites, and now this option was extended to add favorites or selected. After I choose this option, the list will be populated by my favorite brushes from the history panel. And if I only want to add some new tools or brushes, I'll empty the list and then just click through the brushes I want to add. And then I can specify the way I want them to look on the panel, set background color, size and type of the button. And obviously add selected also works for tool presets. There's also a new title field in the edit button window that allows to add a custom title to any button, which I imagine the most useful would be for the scripts. Like in this example, I want to set a title for set opacity script to show the exact number the script is going to set opacity to. Also in this version, I completely rewrote the shelves exporter and importer because it was acting weird sometimes before and uh, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Another thing. In the last update, there was an option to add menu items. So I also added some items from the flyout menus because there are some unique options in there. In the new menu item window, there is a new option, panel menus, with a list of all the panels and their options. So here I just added two options of the color panel, the toggle between brightness and hue cubes. And uh, that's it for, for, for these updates. I'm sorry if the video was a little bit cha chaotic. I'm still learning how to do those things. But to sum up, Add a bunch of tools and brushes to brush router faster with add selected. Access scripts pack settings from brush router. 
copy scripts, rename them, and set settings directly in Photoshop using the settings scripts. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And uh, have a great day. Bye.